That's right. Pull. That's right. How we do? Yeah. What's up, everybody? You're sitting here kicking it suburban underground style. You're watching Georgia State Television, and I, DJ Stereotype, is sitting here with the hundred million dollar <laughs> man of the hour, Tyler Perry. How are you doing, sir? DJ Stereotype? Yeah. <laughs> That's me. That's, you know that's, I'm an actor, right? Okay. You know I'm an actor, right? Okay. I know now. I know now. Okay. I, know now. I wanted to do something with you that was actually, I don't even know, it's kind of a little bit more authentic mm -hmm. um, just because of the nature of the movie and a lot of the heavy subject matter that you tackle, things of that nature. And your sort of testimony that everybody asks you about going from rags to riches and everything. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering, as a young black man coming up to success, and so many other people out there that look up to you, what advice would you give young people that are trying to fill your shoes kind of come from like, because I read your story, mm -hmm. and it seemed like your ambition led way mm -hmm. to a little bit of struggling and that you redeemed yourself. So in your own words, how would you kind of personify that, and what advice would you give people? That's a really good analogy. Uh, you know, I, I think for me, um, what I would tell people is that whatever you do in life, do you be your best at it. If, if you're excellent at whatever you do, people will take notice. I don't care if you're working at a fast food restaurant. If you are excellent at it, people will remember you. And that's, right. the, that's the best deterrence to poverty and to everything is just be the best you can at what you do. Right. And and no matter what that is, it, it will make room for you. It right. really will. Absolutely. Good yeah. answer. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's, that's <laughs> true. That's how I feel. Um, you're the cast is bananas. The yeah. cast is crazy. And I know that had to have been like a lot of moments. Out of body on experience. Set. Yes. Can you tell yeah. can you tell me just like what was the craziest just realist, oh my God, this is happening moment for you on this. I mean, like, you have Cicely Tyson and Maya Angelou. Like. They, we were sitting at Gaithis Plantation up in Covington. We were sitting on a, this is a farm where there was 150 slaves. And these women are sitting in the kitchen of the big house. Right. And they're telling me all, all these stories about how they met 30 years ago, 40 years ago. And they're talking about Miles Davis and Billie Holiday and all of these people. And I was like, wow, this is history right here. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I have to ask you a crazy question. Yeah. Because we always do 12 rounds, but since we only got two minutes, let's do like two rounds. Okay. I'm going to ask you like an off-the-wall question and okay. see how you respond. Okay. Brian Nichols or OJ? <laughs> to do what? <laughs> <laughs> Who would you choose? Brian Nichols. Brian Nichols. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah. Too. Okay, let me see. No, I'm scratch that. I'm, I'm going to ask you something else. Okay. Um, people are loving theater or in, in um, movies. I think they both have their place. Like some, right. are, some are theater, some, some part of me is theater, and another part is film. So they both have their place. It depends right. on whatever I'm doing at that time. Right. So yeah. what, what other projects do you have in development right now? I, I'm working on a sitcom that we're taping here uh, called The House of Pain mm -hmm. that uh, we've got 10 episodes in the can, and we're working on about 10 more. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. You got to be on my TV show, right? Yes. You know, absolutely. Like, you need to come to Georgia State. Say the word. Okay. Say I'm, the word. I'm telling you. If I got the time, I'm here, man. Okay. Here. All right. We're wrapping up now. Thank you so much. My pleasure. It was a pleasure. All right, man.